you're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> Chapter 3, Monster or Mortal. You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> he has a dead. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, Let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. All right. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Yeah. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Dirty dishes? No. Oh. Let me beat it. There we go. Yeah, thank you so much for remembering my birthday last week and that Marco is going and the tequila was excellent. You are welcome over any time. Your best cook by a long shot. Francisco? See, they're building Jed up to be like a really good guy. But I think that's on purpose to kind of shock you if he turns out to be the one behind it, I think. That's my prediction. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure because I'm wrong about a lot of things, but... How do these birdwashing contests even work? I mean, who's checking the sightings? Fuck Stop you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your, your Birder of the Year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan... I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Um. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. You're welcome. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, 
I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. The bond on term will be closed in the last Thursday of every month from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. for town council business. Please direct questions and concerns to Council Chair Jed Lucan. Thank you for understanding. So he's a council chair. Hmm. I'm suspicious now. I better check in with Stefan Ryan. Hold on, I'm gonna play the song for that girl. Don't even know what it is. Girl from Rome. Maybe I can find out. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually, but we're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. <laughs> I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. Mm. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> oh no, so... <laughs> like, which... What one did I choose? How will it affect how... I date them because if it choose Steph, does that mean Alex like she's hotter, or that Alex wants right? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose Ryan. Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're oh, a total no. smoke show, Steph. But for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This, Ryan? <laughs> this is like a bad dream. <laughs> Look, 
I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Um... Oh. I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. William Bloom, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Hmm. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Whoa. Good beer? Yep. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? No, she can't really test. All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could- It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait, there's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy 
Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. <gasps> oh, that sounds like a nice idea. That worked. Alone in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. <laughs> How long have you been planning this, you devil? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever since you showed up in Haven. Truth be told. Make it believable, Ryan. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. Ah, oh, Ryan, you devil. Is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Okay. They will be closed tonight, close to regular business this afternoon in order to participate in Steph and Rich's live action game. Live action game. <laughs> right, do I have ticks? Um. How do I? Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna need to read all this. Oh man. 
I need to catch up with all this. Hold on. I'm very confused. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get my guitar. Okay, let me grab my hat. Hat. Free hat hat. Shoo shoo. A dire rat joined your party. Oh, character sheet. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Wow. Okay. Um. Uh, hats. Why is there a Norman here? A housewarming gift from Eleanor. Oh. Uh -huh. She said Gabe loved life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. Where's my hat, dude? Um, where's my hat? You know what? I'm gonna. Right, I cannot find my hat anywhere. Gummies? Maybe it's in the drawer. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. <laughs> Steph, I will murder you. Alex, Steph told me you'd be willing to play at our next open mic night. I'd wager it'd help loosen folks up and break the ice. Can you make it? Sure. Um, We're one step closer now. Well, it's a big list. Research, type and sites. Oh, okay. Right. Seriously, where's this hat? It's in here. Huh. There it is. There we go. Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Oh, no way. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Right. Feather. My god. Okay. 
Did I see? I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Ducky's gift to me <laughs> for finding his booze. Oh, it's, that's so cute. Um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. Uh, there we go. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go. She looks so cute. Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay. So, maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alwyn, whose songs have magical powers. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. 
My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. Okay. So you're seriously Alwyn? Don't you recognize me? Oh, yeah, of course. Um... It's been a long time since Carneris. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? Except for the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Scroll of healing restores you and your allies to full health. Removes all negative status effects, poison, stun, etc. May only be used once. What okay. is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Oh no. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, he looks so dumb. <laughs> okay. Um. Ethan. Attack. And. Um, burning blade. Burning blade! One damage, <coughs> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Alex, magic. Stirring him. Stirring him. Double Feynor's next attack. Yes. Arr! Ah! Two damage. Oh crap. Ah! I'm still on fire. <laughs> Ethan, attack. Stop. <coughs> Four damage. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Loot. Uh, yes, loot it, it, it. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies. Better be nice to Thanor. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Yes. Yeah. Stop it. Be serious. Stop it, be serious. No! Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. Oh dear. Your dialogue unlocked. Can I speak to him? No. Right. What's next? Scroll. Scroll of nimbleness. Plus one dodge. And your allies will dodge the next attack. Mail and be used once. On a scroll? Yeah. Okay. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching? Hey, hey. What's all this? Too busy. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Okay. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Blood. Blood. Oh, what's that about? 
It just pisses me off so bad, you know? The way this world is designed to make you into a horrible person. That's just the price we pay for safety and security, I guess. Is it? Are you sure? Of course! That's how it works. You sharpen your teeth or you starve. Okay. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. Happened here. Oh God! <laughs> Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. <laughs> Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. <laughs> oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Well, we can. Let's see what we can find around here. Okay. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Any luck opening the chest? Yeah, but it's empty so far. House barred. Sorry, Steph. Alwyn is pretty happy with her current gig. Mm -hmm. Old swords for sale. Rep repel monsters with the secret blend of herbs. Only four gold coins for the recipe. Anyone else been here in spooky sounds around the castle? This is well cool. Okay. Coin two. Okay, so I've got two coins. And uh, sheet music. What happened to the rest of the music? New skill acquired. Class Bard skill hypnotic fugue. Okay. Litter. Guess Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. Dear Lawrence, I write to amend the advice I gave you when we last signed together. There is no need to sell your business. I am confident the age of monsters will come to come to an end. I have it on good <coughs> Oh my god. I have it on good on authority that his Majesty's call for heroes was answered, but none other than they nor the legend legendary monsters slip he did not finish his letter. Arkanoid, no. Now is not the time. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. The amount of detail in this LARP is insane. Okay. Oh wait, does that tell the us? The amount what? of detail in this LARP is insane. Okay. That better be washable. <laughs> oh, paper. Oh. The thirteenth quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above oh, no. ground. Oh. First point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, how much longer are you fixing to live? 
Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. This kingdom has serious problems. Okay. Now, can we go upstairs? Going pen. I actually feel bad for that person. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. <laughs> All the drinks I want. You hmm. clever cookie. Not sure how I feel about that. Yes? I see you've poured yourself some ale. I heard Barry the Tavern Keeper has a son, Ned, who's very observant. So, Barry's Aww. like a hundred years old? How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. <laughs> she had it coming. Stingy dish wench. <laughs> Wanna tell him about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. Snakes within heating must fall asleep. Okay. You gotta look on that. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Okay, I think I checked all the compartments. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Okay. Do we leave? Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. Unlock. Oh. Thanor, did you see this? That's got to be it! It's one oh. of the jewels! One time, two to go. One down! That wasn't so bad, right? I think I'm safe. Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Okay, where's your next? Check out what I found in that chest. Ooh. Squirrel of nimbleness, one dot. You and your allies will dodge the next attack. May only be used once. Nice cool. work, Thanor. So that's two of those I've got? There was some really interesting stuff in there. Yeah. Now we need to go somewhere else. Take heed. I can't read the rest of it because I'm blind. <laughs> um. Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. <laughs> Go get him. Could there be something down the alley? No, maybe. This is boring. Shh, they're here. <laughs> Woe is me. Woe is me. 
Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Oh no. Where? Just down the... Yonder... Alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Beware of river monster. Okay, here's the river monster. Oh my god. Some Ryan. kind of snake. I'm starting to warm to Ryan, I actually. Guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> uh. We could save our energy for something scarier. Save our scrolls, too. True. <laughs> it's gonna attack! What do you want to do? Uh. Ophidian Chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snakes' ears are internal, so they can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This <laughs> is. <laughs> What's that? More loot! Yes! Yeah, me, right. I love loot. Let's make some ears bleed. New skill acquired, class barred, skill hard, disheartening, type attack. Three damage, maybe use once per battle. Cool! Wait, what's that? <gasps> it's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Cool. That was so smart of you to use the bell. It worked out, didn't it? Right, someone said fuck to you. Oh. Oof. Right, can we go this way? Scroll. Yes. Take one dodge. I've got cool. another scroll. Cool. You're doing so good. Right, can't go this way, so I need to go back this way. Okay, we handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. You're welcome. But you should probably clean up that body. <laughs> Same. Look. Come on. Due to Monster abundances abundance. are when you need apothecaries the most. <laughs> Aw. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. Hey. Okay. Um, so is the whole place closed because of this? No one appreciates my... Oh there! I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just ah, uh, what a thankless life, being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa, everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. What did you need again? Sunsilver? The components for Sunsilver? Puh! Okay. Magpie and Porion. Please, Please not knock twice. twice. Go you for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. <laughs> what a fun time to live in.
Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Cool. Oh, yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. That actually looks legit. I bet it is. <laughs> Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. Spells. Very cute stuff. Are these spells mm -hmm. for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Okay. Valkyrie. Dude, I hear you, but a combat based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you. Hey, precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Aww. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. That's so cute. I am going to hear Steph baby talk at this cat if it's the last thing I do. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Mm -hmm. Widely believed to be the instrument of fleet, silver tongue, bard of champions, and savior of Prince Clarderin? Priceless, or best so far. Valkyrie. Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. <laughs> yeah, no need to warn me. Looks proper grumpy. Tarot cards. What do I want insight about? People, things, people. Steph is just awesome. A card of spontane spontaneity, fearlessness, and adventure is welcomed gladly. People, Ryan. Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. The star, a card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. Here you go. Me. I really wish things would stop changing. A card for of... For once. A card of... Oh, that's quite cool. It's got the butterfly and the wolf. Like the butterfly from Life is Strange 1 and the wolf from Life is Strange 2. A card of decisive, inevitable change. The eternal cycle of life. People. No, I don't know people. Things. My power. You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. A card of determination, focus, and sculpting of one's own destiny. Things. Even. Yikes. A card of endings, inevitable, transformation, and letting go. Oh dear. Things. Typhoon. Holy shit. A card Too of power well. and domination, the pursuit of the same. Okay. I think that's everything. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. I go. Okay. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for something far more valuable. <gasps> My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. <gasps> Uh, 
I mean. <laughs> oh, man. This just got real. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the Sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, job done. Then here's my end of the bargain. That was easy. <laughs> One more jewel left. Getting there. Hmm. Oh, look at those. Troll dust. What does that do? Very friendly troll. Now that I'd like to see. Hmm. Do you think we'll run into any trolls? I don't know. But I bet this is on sale for a reason. I want to buy that. Three gold, please. Okay. That'll do, I think. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Never oh, seen no. Steph all twisted up like this before. She's always so confident. Damn it, I picked the wrong thing. I shipped those, I shipped Alex and Steph. So Where to next? This ship anymore, Jesus. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I just feel like... I don't know why I'm leaving. I'll be back. I don't know, I just feel like Alex and Steph are more suited than Alex and Ryan. Oh no, I need to fix this. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh no. shit! Troll! Incoming! He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, oh, oh. you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Dust. <clears throat> troll dust. Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare. Just... Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> visitors. I love visitors. Can I can I get you anything? Uh, a glass of marsh water. Uh, slug chips. Slug chips. How about that jewel? On your belt. Sure. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again. Anytime. <laughs> 
We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. Let's go. Okay. That troll is scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Okay. I'll go to the park first. One, two, three. I control me. One, two, three. I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Wait. Come on, dude. Oh. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all. Oh my Ooh. god. It's my mom. Feynor, <laughs> <laughs> the monster slayer. You've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Netheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? <laughs> the Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. It's got the pincer. And the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. A song, if you please. <laughs> the prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need Just and brought them out. right to me!
We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! Oh. I'm scared. Okay. Um, what did it do? They are attack. Burning blade! Does it have to be me? Magic. No, attack. Ancient card for it to stop. Horrid yeah. harmony. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh shit. Uh, curse this fire. No. Magic. Fire blast. Fire blast. Oh. Sorry, worth it. <laughs> oh, when magic is stirring him. him, electric cave. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, curse this fire. This is so cool. Items. Oh, um. Scroll of nimbleness. Attack. Burning blade. Burning. Oh. Unholy lightning storm. Death to all who defy <laughs> me. No. no. Uh, curse this fire! Okay, and items. Scroll of nimbleness. Again, I use so many of these I've got. Um, tap. Untuned cord. Oh. oh, we're getting there. Nimbleness. <laughs> I don't know how many of them I've got, but I'm gonna keep using them. Um oh he's not got much to go actually. Magic. No attack. Burning blade! Uh, my turn. Magic. Untuned cord. Oh. No. He's <laughs> getting uh, Curse this fire. Oh, it's nearly done. Wait. Stop. Oh. There we go. Gabe, 
I killed Gabe! I killed Gabe! No, you didn't. You didn't. Ethan. Listen to me. It wasn't your fault. At all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Oh, shame. Charlotte? Back here. Oh, this is cool. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Mm. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I can imagine getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte, I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Whoa. Shit. That was a lot. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. 
that's Teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone. She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. thing in the entire universe to me and I hate him for so long it was just me and him it took so long to learn how to be okay with that and I was but then Kate I can deal with hating Ryan or you or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. Oh no. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. And I wish I were too. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can? Oh, no. Should I? Can we reach this? Oh no. I 
don't want to. But I don't want it. Fuck it. Yes, I... I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm... not sure what came over me. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. I think so. Just... Maybe I blacked out for a minute? I guess that's what happens when you don't sleep. Huh. I wrecked my sculpture. It seems so crazy in here, but I feel... How do I feel? Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. That whole scene was so cool. <laughs> like with the sculpture and everything. Oh my god, that was so cool. Oh man, I love games like this, like, that force you to make a decision that you don't want to make. <laughs> I like games like that. Okay, okay, hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Honestly, I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. Sorry. <laughs> of course. Don't apologize. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should... probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac, it's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit, he could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. I'm just doing my job. They just 
ignored him. <sighs> That's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex. At least that proves it. You okay? We're gonna get him. I promise. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Whoa. Fuck that. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Okay. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Okay. Um, 8.41. Damn, this makes no sense. A4A1. A4A3, okay. Dana, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Okay. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. All right, okay. Situation. You mean that guy you killed? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Wait, does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No, not buying it. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic? The timing of all this is too convenient to be a coincidence. And I thought above ground mining was terrifying. Okay. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Okay. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. All right. If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. Fails. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Eleanor leaves as well. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. Shit. 
pressure points, you know, ones. Okay. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. 